Our fourth story tonight, the power of touch. Jay McFarland shows us how Duracell is powering up with a little hand holding. All right, we'll start off today up in Canada where the folks at Duracell put together this bus stop. It's a shelter that you can sit in and it will provide heat, but in order to get the heat, it has to have a hand touching both sides of the bus stop. And you can't accomplish that unless you have help. The idea is to encourage people to hold hands, get to know each other while they're waiting out in the snow. I personally would freeze to death because I would refuse to do so. And then this major innovation, this is a microscope. It's an origami microscope. It only costs about 50 cents, designed for third world countries where a normal microscope would cost upwards of $500. This thing can identify ma uh, malaria and other types of diseases and get diagnosis and treatment much faster, saving lives all for only 50 cents. And anyone can put this thing together. Pretty amazing. And then finally this, if you want your kids to learn how to code video games, why not a video game to help them learn how to code video games? This is right now just in beta test, so you can't get it yet, but it's actually a game where when people play it, they learn design concepts, and then as they get deeper and deeper into the game, they actually learn how to code, and they could come away a game developer. Pretty cool stuff. All right, that's it from the